I'm still very impressed by the fact that you can use bleach as paint and you can create very complicated artworks on your clothes using it. And in one of my previous videos I customized two t-shirts using only bleach and I showed you all the possibilities of bleach as paint on a t-shirt. But this video is a whole other level of bleach customization because I'm gonna customize denim jacket using only bleach. And you know, ruining a t-shirt is not like a ruining a denim jacket. So I feel very excited, but we will see together. Can you use bleach as paint on denim? And what are the differences between customizing t-shirts with bleach and customizing denim with bleach? I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion Channel. And here is jacket which I'm gonna customize but first I want to say thanks to one of my subscribers Darlene and she is actually the sponsor of this video because she purchased this jacket and gave me an opportunity to experiment with bleach on denim and first I'm sketching out design on the jacket with Chuck and you know I used to use piece of soap for sketching out design uh, on the denim, on the dark denim but now I understand that it's much easier to sketch with Chuck and it's pretty easy to erase the lines with water if you made some mistake and I'm painting Phoenix, one of my favorite mythological creatures and I love to paint it on clothes. I painted it uh, on leather jacket, on leather pants and now I'm painting it on denim jacket. I decided to paint Phoenix because I thought that it will look amazing in such a yellowish reddish bleach colors. So this is my first time of trying to paint with bleach on denim but as I've already painted with bleach on t-shirts I have kind of experience and I hope that uh, on denim it will be the same that I won't get any surprises in the process but of course, before starting to paint with bleach, you need to have very detailed sketch on your clothes made with chalk, with piece of soap, or uh, you can use carbon paper to transfer your design from paper onto a jacket, white color carbon paper for dark clothes. And uh, you know, very good detailed sketch is a guarantee of your success, because once you have clear lines on your jacket, all you will need to do is to just use bleach to outline those lines and I'm using cardboard to prevent bleach from bleeding through and here is my paint which is bleach and information for my new viewers I'm using the cheapest bleach I could find uh, it's a liquid bleach not a gel bleach but a liquid bleach and you can find such bleach anywhere like in any country in any town even in the smallest town you can find it and I'm using small brush and in this video I want to talk about pros and cons of bleach customization and pros are, as already said, uh, that you can find bleach anywhere, in any country, in any town. Because I always get comments like, I live in a country or in a town where I can't find fabric paints, what can I do? So in bleach customization you won't have such problem, because you can find bleach just literally anywhere. And also bleach customization is very affordable because to customize your jacket with fabric paints you will have to buy at least one two cans of fabric paints one two brushes and it will be more expensive than buying one bleach bottle and i think that many people even have already bleach at home so they won't even need to purchase it and yeah you can buy just one brush and you will be able to create very cool design using one brush then it's much easier to paint with bleach rather than paint with fabric paints especially on denim because denim is very rough fabric and it takes a lot of effort to apply fabric paint uh, on such rough fabric but bleach is so liquid just like water so it's pretty easy to paint with bleach you know and also with bleach you are able to create soft artwork on dark clothes no paint filling just a soft filling of fabric 
and when you use fabric paints for dark clothes it's impossible to create such soft artwork because for dark clothes you have to use uh, paints with a good coverage fabric paints for dark clothes uh, with good coverage and you have to apply at least two layers of paint to create such light artwork so it's impossible to make soft artwork uh, but it's possible with bleach and it's so cool and also such bleach customization is perfect for people who don't want to take extra care of their clothes because clothes uh, customized with fabric paints uh, require extra care like you can't wash them on high degrees you won't be able to use dryer clothes customized with bleach you can do with them whatever you want like you can wash them like all other clothes so what are the cons uh, first of all bleach is very toxic so you'll have to be very careful in the process of painting you'll have to open window to use protective mask glasses to protect your eyes uh, and yeah, you'll have to be just very careful, don't accidentally put bleach on your hands, on your face, on your clothes. Then if your artwork is very complicated or you are not able to paint fast, uh, you'll have to wash off bleach from your clothes completely like every 2-3 hours, especially if you paint on such clothes like t-shirts, sweatshirts, because bleach can create holes, you know, if you leave it for too long on your clothes. I'm not sure about denim because I saw some DIY bleaching denim videos and people were leaving bleach on denim overnight. But I will definitely wash it off <laughs> after two hours because I don't want to get any surprises. And then of course bleach is limiting you because you won't be able to create such complicated realistic colorful artworks uh, you'll have to create something which you are able to create with one color and you'll have to use just one color to create shadows lights line work like everything using just one color so painting with bleach on denim, I can say that it's pretty much the same as painting with bleach on t-shirts. You can also create very very thin lines using small brush. Uh, you can create smooth transitions by adding water to bleach to make color less intensive. Uh, like uh, the main difference probably that a fabric is denim fabric is rough, so I have to apply sometimes two layers of bleach because one layer is not enough. But actually there is one more difference, uh, I started noticing it now, it's color. Uh, you know I customized two t-shirts with bleach and color of artwork turned out such yellowish reddish, such copper, beautiful copper color. But here I see that the color is different. It's definitely lighter, not so saturated. Um, I don't know why, because I expected actually to see such beautiful copper color. That is why I decided to paint Phoenix actually. Maybe the color of artwork depends on the color of dye which was used for dyeing these clothes. Maybe dye for t-shirts is different from dye for denim. I don't know. But I can see that color is different and unfortunately it's not so beautiful. So guys, I just washed off the bleach, I dried the jacket and I can clearly see that yes, color is different and uh, I don't like the color because I expected to see different color. Let me show you bleached t-shirt and the color of bleached t-shirt and as you can see, uh, the color of bleached jacket just not it, like I don't like the color, but I have a solution like what I can do to create a color I want. <laughs> but first I want to add small detail to the front side of the jacket. I'm gonna write the name of the poem, very beautiful poem, and I found it when I was searching for the ideas what can I write on the jacket. So I found a poem by Maya Angelo. name of the poem is Still I Rise, and here is the small part of it. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I will rise. And I thought that it's just super meaningful for this jacket, for the Phoenix jacket.
So the idea is to use textile dyes to dye the jacket and dye will not affect the color of the jacket because jacket is just too dark, it's black, but it will change the color of artwork. Um, I decided to use orange and red colors to dye my jacket because as I said I chose Phoenix design because I expected it to be such copper color, bleach color, but I couldn't get such color so I'll try to get it using dyes. But you can use any color you want, like you can make your artwork blue, purple, green, I don't know, like any color you wish and you can create very interesting designs such way. I don't use too much dye because I don't want to make color like too intensive. So here you can see I made such light orange color. I decided to dye jacket while boiling water on stove because such way I can get faster result and I'm dyeing jacket at the middle of the night so I want to make it as fast as possible but all textile dyes are different so you should better uh, read instructions to see the best way of using textile dyes which you bought Well guys, the color of jacket now is so beautiful, it's even better than I expected, it's not orange and not red, such a beautiful color, I just love it. So it's definitely a solution that if you don't like the color of your bleached jacket, you can use textile dyes to create the color you want. And I will show you the final result, but first ask for your very useful likes and comments. If you are new here, subscribe for more painting on clothes videos. And here is the final result.